or sometimes the hoop gets uh, too close to the um, the needle bar here. So see, I'm just being really rough, doing these stitches really roughly. Okay, now this is sort of called this is called long and short stitch right here. It's the same kind of thing. I can fill in really nicely. And uh, the variegates are, are sort of modeled when you do it this way, instead of having a stri any kind of stripe effect. Uh, in the pattern, uh, in the bag, I used this lighter color thread. And uh, for the project today, I wanted to change it up a little bit, so I'm using this darker color. Now, for the last color, um, it's this dark blue, and this is a cartoon, so black probably would work pretty good, but um, I just, I like the color. Now you want to, you want to go more slowly and more careful when you're trying to follow an exact line. Like that. Okay, so now this one is uh, going to be sort of outlining things, and um, and there's some areas that it's filling in. So this is going to be just mostly like a running stitch, is what is how I'm stitching this. It's filling in the center there. And that's running stitch. Okay, and the other thing about this too is because it's so cartoony, you can have um, lines, extra lines like out there. Because it just, I don't know why it does, but it seems to add humor when you have a few lines that are sticking out. This is doing two things. It's outlining and it's filling in. I'm going to go back and fill that in some more. There we go. Okay, so now I've outlined this little part right here, and I'm going to show you just outlining the yellow diamonds. One of the things I find when I teach this in classes is um, that the students quite often come up with their own um, their own stitches, their own ways to fill things in, and that is so much fun. This design can be stitched in so many different ways. This is just a very simple way to do it. So here's my sunny bug. Ta-da! For the scrappy border, this is the effect that we're going to get. Uh, we've got little strips at angles, and they're not all cut exactly uh, perpendicular. So here's a scrap. Here's a scrap. These are scraps. This is a great way to use up scraps. And the other neat thing about this is you're using all kinds of greens. And all greens go together, and if you don't believe that, just go look in my garden. So what I want is for that to cut. I just want um, the strips to be approximately six inches long. Now I've cut a few other ones here. Now here's one that I cut on an angle. So see, I'll stitch that one this way. 
See, I'll stitch this one this way, and then I'll use another angled piece that angles the opposite way so that I end up with something that looks like this. Okay, you don't need too many angled pieces, just enough so that the things kind of, the strips kind of go off. Okay, so this is, we've got to, um, we've got to finish off the edges. And so what I want is finished strip that is approximately four inches wide, okay? So I'm gonna move this over here. So I'll get four inches wide. Okay, and the other thing that's neat is not everything has to be completely green. It's really pretty to have uh, some little reds and different colors in there as well. Now, I have a use for this because this really is going to be scrappy. And so I'll show you. I'm going to cut, cut the little tiny pieces off. Yes, we need a new blade. I'm just going to square this off. And you know, I even use these to stuff pillows. This is the handle for my bag. And what I'll do here is I'll fuse these end pieces on there. See how I've done that? I've just fused whatever I had left over, and that adds an embellishment to the handle. For information on ordering the complete pattern and instructions for the Sunnybug bag, and to look at Terry's CD videos on how to thread paint, and to see the embroidery design for your embroidery machine of Sunnybug, go to www threadpaint.com. Eight Days of Sun and Blues is a 40 inch square quilt. The sun face is thread painted and the border is log cabin style but similar to the scrap technique that I showed you today. I hope you've enjoyed our little project today. This has been Designing by Thread with Terry White. See you next time.